Boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're here again at the garage, second day in a row. Um, if you saw yesterday's video, we got everything moved in. We, uh, the Miata and the Mustang are here. Uh, the toolboxes are here. Everything's here. Um, today, doing some work on the Miata. Um, I, everything I said in yesterday's video is great. You know, it was, it's fun having this thing as a stance car, as a, you know, uh, cambered out static car, it was fun. Um, and I enjoyed it, enjoyed the hell out of it, but it's time to switch things up once again. So yesterday, <clears throat> after I ended the video, I ended up coming back last night, um, went ahead and put the Miata on jack stands, got the wheels off. Um, I actually have somebody coming to buy the smoothies today. Um, I, I've wanted a set of these wheels for the longest time and I, and I finally got a set. Um, and I, and I love them, don't get me wrong. They are just, with me taking the camber out of the car, they do they were not gonna fit, they don't. So fit. with that being said, today we're gonna tackle the uh, the rear upper control arms. Um, because they are different, <clears throat> they're still factory control arms, but they've been cut and shortened um, to add the rear camber to the car. Today, I'm gonna swap them back over just to the, uh, the other factory control arms that I have. Um, so that there won't be any rear camber. Um, the fronts, I'll have to do another day because the fronts do take a while, especially to do by yourself. Um, and I, I'm kind of on a time crunch for today. Um, but I don't know if you can see my breath. It is super, super cold in here. Um, my dad did let me borrow this little bitty, you know, this little propane heater and it's kind of working. I just got here. So hopefully throughout the video, the shop will warm up and it'll get a lot warmer. We're taking the camera out of the car is I, uh, went to my first drift event. Uh, a couple weeks ago and I fell in love um, so so basically I'm taking the rear camber out we're gonna throw the stocks back on the rear and the front I mounted them up last night with the camera in the rear my stocks do not fit they hit the inner fender or the uh, the frame in the rear um, so I've got to take the rear camber out and after I do that today if we have time we're gonna go drive it with no rear camber and still the negative 16 up front just to kind of see where I sit because I'd like to have a little bit of angle when I do drift this thing, even though it doesn't make a lot of power or need the angle, I would still like to have the angle. Uh, so when I do eventually end up swapping the motor and putting more power in this thing, the angle's already there. Or the good. frame, this is actually from the smoothies uh, hitting back here from where I had uh, maxed the rear coilovers out. I didn't realize this until last night. Um, so yeah, but the rear, the rear uppers aren't hard, uh, to bolt here and then two bolts in the very back. It should, it shouldn't take us long to get this thing out. So let's get started. All right, boys. So to get the rear upper out, we're just going to need a 14, um, on both sides. There's so many tutorial videos on how to do this. This would be a 30 minute video if I tried to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock it out. Uh, when I get it out, I'll show you the comparison between the stock arm and then the shortened arm. Um, yeah. Okay, so just a quick comparison, so you know what I'm talking about. So this one, this is a factory upper rear control arm for an NMI Auto. It's factory length, everything. This is also a factory arm, but it's been cut and shortened. You can actually see the weld where it's been cut and shortened um, to, for the, to add rear camber to this car. Um, it took me five minutes to get this off, maybe. It's, it, this is a super easy install. Um, so we're gonna get this one back on and we'll go ahead and get the other side on and then once that's done uh, I'll update you and we'll see how it looks. All right boys, we got uh, both of the rear upper arms off the shortened ones uh, We've put the stock ones back on So we're gonna we're gonna get the tires and wheels thrown on uh, we're gonna put it on the ground and see how she looks um, as long as everything's sitting like halfway decent um, to where I think it's drivable we might just try to go drive it around. Um, but I won't know until I get the car on the ground. Um, so let's get it on the ground. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when we get it on the ground and we'll go from there. All right, boys. So she's on the ground. I wanted to put the smoothies back up front because eventually I'll get a set of wheels that kind of fit in the front to make it look decent. Um, just, but I wanted to put the smoothies up front, just kind of give it that look. But I mean, honestly, I don't hate it. I, I don't hate this at all. I think it looks, you know, still got the style and the camber up front, and then you've got, you know, your grip and stuff in the back. It's uh, 
it's definitely not a bad look. Um, I guess we're gonna go take it for a test drive and see how it does. So, yeah. All right. This driveway getting out of the shop is awful. So, and I didn't raise the car at all, so we're gonna see how this goes. Even, I don't even think I'm gonna leave the neighborhood. I'm just gonna drive it around the little neighborhood that the shop's in. Mm. Yep. <laughs> okay, so first impressions, it's not bad. Um, everything still drives good. There's no noises, no rubbing. Everything is pretty smooth so far. <laughs> Other than this thing being ridiculously low, which I'm gonna have to raise it, obviously, to drift it. Um, but let me get back, back to the shop and I'll update y'all when I get back. So the first test drive went good. There's no noises. Um, other than the front still being slammed, I'm gonna have to uh, definitely gonna have to raise the front. Not even, I mean, not even for the fact of you know just getting out of the driveway if I want to go street drive the car, but to get it on the trailer and stuff. I got it on the trailer slammed, um, but it, it tore the trailer up, tore the bottom side of the car up. So the rear, I'm not really worried about lifting the rear because uh, it's got a fatter tire on it. The front will definitely have to come up probably, I don't know, a half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch, just to make it to where I can drive it. And when I slide the car that I have, uh, you know, clearance between the fender and the tire, so I'm not destroying fenders and stuff on purpose. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's really all I had to do today. Um, I'm gonna drive with the front camber for a little bit and probably wait till the first private day which is supposed to be at the end of next month, um, just to decide if I'm gonna keep the front camber or not. We'll see, if not, I'll take it out. I gotta order new tie rods, because my factory tie rods, we had to cut and extend to put the camber arms on. Um, but until that, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna get back in this thing, take it to my mom's, go see her and everybody. But uh, that's probably gonna do it for the video. Once again, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, your mom, your dad, your brother, everybody. Let everybody know, I'm building a drift car over here. And then this thing, we got stuff coming for this thing too. Uh, but until next time, guys, see you later. Peace.